my YouTube friends. Today on the plugin of the week, we are going to show you how to use the input overlay. The input overlay is an awesome tool for those who are game streamers or anything like that and want to show the button presses that they're making while they're live streaming. It's really simple to install and use, and it's absolutely awesome to give more interaction for your audience. So you know what? Let's get to it. This week's plugin is super awesome for game live streamers. It allows you to display your keyboard or your gamepad or whatever it is that you use to control your game on the screen so people can see when you're pushing your buttons or keys or whatever. It's a great way for your audience to be able to see what you're doing and it adds that extra level of interaction with the audience that I think you're really gonna like and it's super easy to integrate into OBS. So let me show you how it works. The input overlay install is about the same as any other plugin install. There is a link in the description below so you can check it out. And we're going to go over here to the top right and select go to download. And it's going to bring us up to GitHub right here. The assets are down here. And you can get this for a bunch of different platforms where you're obviously going to use the Windows 64 bit installation. But you also want to make sure that you grab the input overlay presets. Once you've downloaded both of these, you're just gonna flip over and extract each one. So right click and extract. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on the executable, click more info and run anyways. Then I'm gonna just next through the entire install and click finished. And now we're installed. And you just wanna make sure that you put the input overlay presets somewhere where you're going to be able to find it because you're gonna want that folder when we're setting this up. The input overlay is really awesome for anyone who's gonna be doing any kind of gaming. It just adds that extra element. People can actually see what you're doing. We're just gonna click the plus and we're gonna to go to input overlay. We're gonna call this keyboard. And we're gonna go ahead and browse. Now they have, you can see this is from the input overlay presets. And they have all these different things that you can add from keyboards and mice and controllers and pretty much anything that you can think of game pads the whole nine yards we're going to go with the wasd and we will just add this png in here this gives you a preview of the type of things that you can select for it and you'll see when we add this it looks pretty horrible but it's pretty simple stuff all we're going to do is add a configuration file so you've got the full if you wanted that and that's what that looks like it gives you the full qwerty or what we're going to do is we're going to add the minimal i like this a lot better and there we go so when we use these keys you can see they light up yellow makes it really really easy for your audience to see exactly what you're doing really cool can shrink it down, put it wherever you want on the screen. And now your audience can actually see you interacting with the game. If we wanted to add another one, we can easily do that. We'll just go in here, go to input overlay. This time we'll add a mouse and we'll click OK. All we have to do is go back in here and select the mouse input. And of course you can create your own, but you know, the steady ones work the same you can see what these png image files are so they're pretty simple if you wanted to create one yourself you can use either the arrow or the dot on the box in in this file here so this is the arrow one and this is the dot and this one has no mouse movement shown at all let me show you what the um, arrow is here so it just moves around when i move the mouse and you can create a dead zone right here if you want so it moves a little slower or whatever. It's just gonna kinda more easily show the direction. We can adjust our mouse sensitivity as well. And the other thing that we can do is use the dot method. This is kinda cool. So this dot will move around and show you what's going on. If we increase our mouse sensitivity, you can see the dot doesn't move quite as much. You get a happy medium between this and your mouse dead zone. 
and it definitely moves around more when you move your mouse faster and all that stuff. As you can see, we've got our scroll and all of our keys over here. So it's pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome. Then you just shrink this down, put it wherever you want it on the screen. And now your audience sees your mouse inputs and it's pretty awesome. It's a much cooler way to show what you're doing and interact with your audience even more. This snippet is just a clip from episode one of my new show, Stream on the Edge. If you want to check out the full show in all of its glory and let me know what you think, I'd really appreciate it. You can do that by clicking this video right here. See you there!